helpers we have to build something like this first of all it open this screen we will call it, call it the splash screen just work on first splash screen okay change from android to project i found it easier to work on it just simply call me i just like to work on packages so we firstly create a package and name it activities okay now i need to create an splash screen so just simply go here call activity and simply say empty activity and this will be my splash screen and i want Whenever you tap on app icon, the first time the activity launch is defined by an intent filter tag. Those activities which have launcher tag checked, then it means this will be launched whenever you tap on app icon. So whenever I tap on this app icon, the first activity launch is splash activity. So it will definitely be a my launcher activity so i check this and simply say finish now we move to manifest that we check now whenever i tap on the app icon my these two activities will be separately launched we need to verify it let's try to again run that waiting for gradle to sync up let's try to launch our app one more time press ok see the emulator now let's see what happened Now you will notice here there are two apps with same name share basis and share basis. Let's tap on first app. It will launching to main activity. When I tap to second, it is launching to a splash screen. So your application only have one launcher. Okay, then it will be a splash screen. So I change this to default. Now try to run the app again. You will notice that there are two icons one is for rebuild the app rebuild means it will be built again and second one is instant app instant run so I simply tap on instant run and see on emulator waiting for Gradle to sync up it's ready installing apk now see what happen only splash screen let's see again here there is only one app with name share basis one icon that's clear so whenever you want to create an splash screen it must got a launcher tag and there must be no other activities with that particular tag otherwise the same app name with different icons and name will be created as you seen previously now let's compare what we need to create with the other app let's try to close it one more time and launch it again so i just simply stay here what it shows you have noticed that whenever my app launch it shows an white logo but in case of our app it simply shows bang app launch so first thing what i need to do is create a same screen like wishes so simply go here it's source and white logo sometime a text will appear okay now how to achieve this issue so first of all we need to create an style let's try to look our app again one more time I will close it just go here tap on share wishes see what happens firstly you have noticed that there is a white screen appears you have noticed it let's try to launch it again the white screen how to resolve the issue 
so android provide a, so we just create a custom sprite custom theme for our splash activity okay and its parent will be my app theme now what we need to do is whenever you launch an app this white screen is called window background so i need to attach the app logo on window background just simply add a tag item it will be my window background you must notice you have to write android here because these are android properties okay i need to refer to a drawable with name splash background it's showing error because we didn't create it just simply press alt enter it is say that create drawable resource you just simply press enter simply press enter okay now it is here <coughs> so first of all what we need to show is just go again here it contains a white background and a logo so how can we do this we can achieve this with the help of layer list the simply clear layer list layer list contains same as a frame layout which we create a stacks so my first item will be this and my second item will be this my first item will be a drawable simply say drawable and it will be a white background i will say drawable white okay it's again showing me an error just simply press alt enter create drawable source file simply i don't need to do this stuff i simply just copy it go to colors just simply press ctrl d copy current line and simply say ctrl v and it will be f f f t 4 5 6 okay and you just need to replace this color with a drawable that's it error goes i get it to simple finish now my second item will be a bitmap image okay bitmap image it is saying to refer to a source so how did i get a source just copy it copy go to android studio and paste it here give it a name of splash logo and just refer it here with the help of at the rate drawable splash logo okay let's simply close this tag and just preview how does it looks you see it there is a white screen with an logo now link it to our theme and it's already linked i will say window background and other thing i need to create it it will be full screen window full screen and i will say it a true and refer this to our splash screen i simply say here theme and it will be my splash theme just refer to it style and it will be splash theme okay let's try to build the app again just simply say press okay now it is shown but there is also a uh, one issue arises is this logo appears too big you yes, have notice it by this issue problem solved but this is too big so what just we need to do is i will be say this will be a bitmap and its gravity will be center let's try to build it again run okay now it's saying it looks cool cool we notice it let launch it again one more time what we see bang logo screen looks perfect so why did we need to create a splash screen 
first issue is whenever you tap on app icon android you have noticed there each activity extending to app compact activity so android set up all the changes just like you have mentioned and status bar color toolbar color loading your string resources and other resources so it takes some time so while that time we will show a user a splash screen so that our app written looks too disturbing okay let's try to open it one more time it looks good now what we need to do is whenever i try to see what happened this is a logo and text appear then it moves to a my second activity so we will do the same I navigate to splash screen. First thing I need to do is go to layer file. We can directly move to this section by pressing command and mouse tab in Windows control and mouse tab. Okay, I need to show a text. Just copy text view and put it here. Currently using constant layout, so we just bound our view to parent right, parent left parent bottom that's it give it an id of text splash it will be this look like and its text will be share wishes and what i need to sing is change its color I need my color to be black. I need to be its appearance. Style will be. I want it to be a large. I don't get too much. I'm going to just move to tags. Just simply say appearance style is equal to medium. Simply say it to medium. Looks okay. Just give a margin bottom of Tap here, margin bottom will be 20 dp. Just press OK, looks good. Now try to launch our app one more time. OK. Logo. Sometimes share bases, that's it. We have done a lot of thing now now just i need to do is i want to move from splash screen to main activity okay so just simply say i need to wait for some second so that splash screen open correctly wait for some time and move to a main activity so how can we do this we can simply use timer this is a default class provided in android say timer it is showing some errors. So simply press Alt Enter dot schedule or delay, and it requires a timer task. Time it requires timer task. Okay, just ignore for that. And I want a delay of twelve hundred. It will be a long value. Just simply say twelve hundred millisecond. Okay. Now I need to give an Anonymous object of timer task in Kotlin. How can we do this? Just simply say I have one object, it is extending to timer task. That's it. You need to implement override its method, which is run. Just simply press Alt Enter, implement members. Okay. that's it we have everything set up now what does mean 
a timer is scheduled for an 1200 millisecond which means approx 1.2 second and what will happen after 1.2 second it will go to its run and inside this run what we will have to do is firstly launch move from splash screen to main activity and closes the splash screen okay as we already know how to move from one activity to different activity with the help of intent so just create an intent well intent is equal to intent now see what is the difference here simply press alt enter what intent requires a two parameter what are its parameter just simply to check press control p or for mac command p it is saying that you need to provide intent action action uri package context and class we are using package context and class property whenever we try to move from one activity to other activity in java we simply write splash screen dot this to main activity dot class but not not here to so first write this and this ref referred to my splash screen okay second parameter is i need to move to main activity and it will be class dot java that's it did you notice the difference we yeah, just simply say this and it will refer to splash screen main activity class dot java and simply say start activity and it will be intent that's it now i want to close my current activity just simply say finish now i simply press on instant run tap here launch emulator waiting to build everything set up app launching and seeing what happened window background text and app launch to services everything looks okay when i press back my app closes looks good let's just check is this what we need what we have noticed there when i tap on this is this show a full screen white image then the second activity while in case of our app it says good looks okay now what this stuff is toolbar so in my splash screen i don't need a toolbar just go to styles and it say say to no action bar i don't need a toolbar okay i just simply create a theme with no action bar let's try to run it again okay let's show the emulator wait for gradle to sync up it's working everything goes good just launching the app and see logo tax bang looks good yes we have done the same in this app just recheck again comes here okay at the moment just close it close here logo tax toolbar now see what our app look like just go again here just wait a moment close it like that thanks good we have done this part so that much for this video if you like it comment subscribe